On 911, a runaway car crashes into a lake. I should have never left the car running. And two small children are trapped inside. I know there's an infant in that car somewhere. Then, when a man falls onto a subway track... I couldn't just stand there and watch a train run over. Witnesses try desperately to save him as a train bears down. Don't miss the next rescued 911. On 911, stunned crowds watch in horror as a stuntman hangs by a thin safety line from the belly of a plane. I knew immediately it was not part of the act. And emergency teams attempt a dangerous rescue. It was kind of like doing a stunt that nobody's done before, except we had no time to practice. Then, when a mother collapses, her only chance for survival is her five-year-old daughter on the next Rescue 911. On 911, a man is trapped under a raging torrent of water. He looked horrified. He is in sheer terror. And a witness risks her life to save him. I want to do whatever I can do to help him. I see the life go right out of him. Then, a panic-stricken mother races to save her child as her car speeds toward a busy intersection. I thought you're going to die. Don't miss the next Rescue 911. On 911, a group of teenagers are trapped on a treacherous mountain slope. When I saw that we couldn't get down or up the mountain, that's when I started to panic. And the only way to reach them is by helicopter. They fall from those elevations and they can kill themselves. But high winds send a rescuer and one of the teenagers into a heart-stopping spin. I thought there's a good possible chance that we might lose the kid. Don't miss the next Rescue 911. On 911, one mother's anguish. Baby Gabriel was dying. Could be another mother's joy when doctors attempt a breakthrough heart transplant operation on a newborn baby. This was a history making event. Then, when police respond to a mysterious call from a suburban home, you won't believe what they find inside. On the next Rescue 911. One, one. A man is attacked by a swarm of wasps. Something's stinging me. Seconds could mean the difference between life and death. My chest hurts. I can't breathe. I could hear him gasping and gasping for breath. Then, when a man with a gun threatens his own life. He had told me that it was his night to die. Police must put it all on the line. On the next Rescue 911. On 911, he was their teacher. He was their best friend. But when he suddenly struck down by a violent heart attack. I don't really know how to explain what I felt. I saw a friend that was dead. These firemen must use what they've learned to save one of their own. I, I didn't give up. You know, I, I still fought my mind. Everything was going to be fine. Breathe, Johnny, breathe! On the next rescue, 911. On 911, a speeding freight train broadsides a pickup truck. I figured right away we were going to have dead people. But when emergency teams arrive at the scene of the accident... It was even hard to identify what it was. They'll first have to find the victim. It was just a piece of metal with wheels attached. I was looking for uh, not much of a person left. Real heroes. Real drama. Don't miss the next Rescue 911. On 911, sometimes the most dangerous situation is in your own backyard. Hello, ma'am. My throat is closing. Felt like she was drifting away. Then, when a truck driver's brakes suddenly give way. Well, I don't have any brakes. I have nothing. His best friend must put it all on the line to save their lives. Don't miss the next rescue 911. When a shotgun explodes, 
It sounded like a hand grenade went off instead of a shotgun. Emergency teams must use every second to save his life. The only thing that was between him and death was my ability to stop that bleeding. Then, while a woman's parachute hangs by a thread, this man must attempt a hair-raising rescue hundreds of feet above the ground. In my mind, I saw her swing off and fall. On the next Rescue 911. On 911. They just got into the house. She's home alone. When two men break into a woman's home, the emergency operator is her only link to survival. They're in the same room with her. Then, a small plane's landing gear jams in midair. Now, an airport worker risks his own life in an attempt to pull the wheel of the plane down while traveling nearly 100 miles an hour. My heart was beating as fast as it's ever beaten. Don't miss the next Rescue 911. On Rescue 911, a store owner is brutally shot by masked gunmen. 911, what is the emergency? I've been shot. I've been shot about six times. His only link to survival is the emergency operators. I'm trying to take it real easy, okay? I'm not going to make it. But when paramedics are forced to wait for police, he must hang on and fight for his own life. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know why I've On the next Rescue 911. On 911, when two cars collide, a woman becomes trapped in a burning inferno. Let me out of here! I saw my sister's car and was in flames. But when a stranger attempts a daring rescue... I thought the thing was gonna blow up any time. He must battle smoke and flames to save her. In my heart, I said, God, take her before she burns. On the next rescue, 911. On 911, when the awesome forces of nature strike, there will always be casualties. When I was able to look into their eyes, I saw that they were absolutely terrified. And moments wasted make the difference between life and death. We knew that we had to move pretty quick before the car was swept down the street. Then, witness a 10-year-old's frightening encounter with an unknown intruder on the next Rescue 911. On 911, a runaway horse takes a man for a deadly ride. The electric fence was there. Every time the fighter went into the fence, he got even more out of control. I was scared to death. Then, tragedy strikes when an 11-year-old boy is engulfed in flames. He had a polyester sweatshirt on. It just uh, keeps burning and it melts as it burns. He probably wasn't going to make it. On the next rescue, 911. On 911, a baby girl is the victim of a drowning accident. I thought she was dead. And the frantic father battles to breathe life back into her limp body. Then, a man is witness to an armed robbery. I figured if I didn't do anything and just went about my business, I would feel guilty later seeing it on the news. And he risks his life to help police track down the suspect on the next Rescue 911. On 911. An accident in a remote wilderness. People die up there within the sight of the city. Looks like every bone in his body was broken. As night falls and thick fog rolls in, time is running out. You start putting two and two together in your head, and it's a little bit of hope that you have dwindles. And rescue teams battle to find a boy and his injured grandfather. It's like a needle in a haystack. On the next rescue, 911. On 911, a fire in a New York high rise caught on tape. There are people inside waving from the smoke filled windows. Two men are trapped 12 floors above the city streets. The fire was extending so rapidly, they really didn't have much time. As smoke engulfs the building, firemen must attempt a perilous rescue from the roof. To put my men in this dangerous situation was a difficult thing to do. On the next rescue, 911. On 911, a baby is bitten by ants. She's choking. Oh, God, she's choking. And her father makes a desperate dash to save her life. I was doing all I could do to get to that ambulance. I never prayed so hard in my life. Then, a man risks his life to save a woman from a blazing inferno. I told her to get on my back. Said, Don't worry about it. I'll get you down. On the next rescue, 911.
Emergency teams have only seconds before the van caves in. I didn't want the baby to become injured or killed if anything shifted. On the next Rescue 911.